Twin Bill in the Bull City today. Game two of this series, followed by game three ahead of weather. Sunny today, breezy. It's Louisville and Duke. 3-1 hammered in the alley, and it'll be off the wall. Gordon going to pull up with a one-out double here. This one back up the middle. And the Cardinals will send the runner. What a throw from center field, though, and she's out. An absolutely incredible throw for freshman Jennings. Right on point, great bounce. That wasn't even close. What a play this is. She knew immediately that she was going to be throwing home. She's able to fire a great on-target throw, making it super easy for Rodriguez to go and make the tag. Gardner McKinnon wants to be really careful with Roby, the all-time home run leader for Louisville. Runner gets caught between second and third, and some base running errors for the Cardinals here. They run their way out of a run, and now they run their way out of an inning. Yeah, a lot of these players, including Vega, were highly recruited, and you can see why. Absolutely coming through in the clutch with what looks to be a double, scoring three runs for the Duke softball team. Bases clearing effort from Vega there. That and three RBI, and the Blue Devils take the lead. Three and two count will be interesting to see if she's moving here. She goes, and it'll be a line drive, and it is a fair ball. Might have hit off the glove of gold. Louisville going to wave Hess. The ball trickles in, and she dives in for the Cardinals' first run. Great job by Michaela Hurst. Hard hit ball. Anna Gold has made some incredible plays at third, but that ball was hit just a little too hard for her to be able to come down with. As you can see, that ball is roped on a gold reacting just the slightest bit too short. And that ball really gets stuck under the fence in the left field corner. Duke half of the second towards the gap. Going to hang up in the air, though, and be caught. It will allow a run to score and a slack fly RBI there as Freelich comes home for one Duke. Yeah, well, they have a new hitting coach and Coach Sidney Romero. Well, this one driven a mile in the sky. It is deep, and it is gone. Number 46 of her career for Taylor Roby. Roby just making it that much harder for anyone else to come to Louisville and beat her home run record. Helping herself out as she's also the pitcher in today's game, stomping on home plate, getting a little bit of energy for that Louisville team. Now, welcome Garner McKinnon to college softball. It's definitely a different game. And like I've said, I just want to see her paint those corners a little bit more. Lily Walker throwing a lot more of sort of junk pitches, if you will, compared to Garner McKinnon's up and down speed. Also moving from right-handed to left-handed. Her struck out there. And it'll be a stolen base for Hess. Drives this one to the gap. It's going back, and it will land out of the park. A solo shot for Amina Vega. Vega has been dominating these this series. She's hit two doubles in the gap, and she said, no more Ana Gold and Kyrie Rodriguez. It's my turn now, hitting an absolute bomb into right center field. The 0-1 pitch was smashed. Amina Vega not playing like a freshman. That ball was absolutely hammered. She has been clutch for the Duke offense this season. Energy matters so much and great shot there. Hess drives it back and it is off the glove of Jennings. Jennings a little slow to get up. Hess trucking it down to third. And it should be a triple for Hess. Jennings looking to be just a little beaten up on that play. Pretty bummed out. I think she wanted that catch. But it looks like she was able to potentially save a home run there. Freelich doing a great job of being there for backup, picking up the ball. 
So a big opportunity for Winkler, who drives this one. Jennings with the catch on the run will throw it home, and it will be a run scored as Hess is in ahead of the tag. The throw was in time, but just a little offline. Back to Walker, out at second. They turn the double play, a little ham and cheese to end things here in Durham in game two of the series, game one of the doubleheader.